Right, okay. Well, good morning everybody. Welcome to Phil's workshop. Um, it's been a while, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, what with um, the weather playing havoc, because I've only got a small workshop, so I have to empty everything out. So with it being raining quite a lot, as everybody knows in Great Britain, um, I've not been able to do it because it means I've got to have my kit outside so it's going to actually get into the uh, shed. Plus I've had some other problems as well but that's that's, that, that, that's nothing uh, to, uh, to worry about that isn't. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to all those new subscribers that I've had. Absolutely fantastic, thank you very much. Now over a hundred which was, uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't think I'd be able to get there. So, what have we got this morning? Okay, well, when I did manage to get in, but couldn't get around to um, recording anything, I did manage to get my foot switch done. Now then, this has already been done by Pete of uh, the small shed he managed to uh, beat me to it to get it done now mine is a little bit different than what what peter's is it's a little bit more you could say commercialized but there again it's just the way i am that that's the, that's the way i do things so what have we got we've got if I bring this camera round uh, and the tilt it out we've obviously got a double socket now you're thinking well what the devil have you got a double socket on there for well the beauty about it is not only can I have the um, small catsy router on because that's that's basically what it's done for is I can also have me um, What's the name on it as well? The vacuum cleaner on it as well. So, hence the reason for a double socket. I've done mine in metal, whereas Peter did his in plastic. The reason why I did it in metal is because I've got bloody big feet and I'm liable to kick this about the shed and do some damage to it. I've tried with plastic things before on the floor and they don't work. Not for me. They might work for other people, but not for me. So, that's the reason it's been a, a metal double clad socket. Now, the switch that I'm using is a 16 amp. Now, okay, I'm only going to be using it on a Katsu router for now. But the thing is, is it's the industry as I was brought up in, which is looking after fire engines and ambulances designing and making all the boards for them I got into the habit of making things um, future proof or stuff that can be used in the future because let's face it at the end of the day things change um, goods change uh, applications change so this switch is a 15 amp switch um, which is uh, it makes life just that little bit better now on the inside i'm just taking the top out on the inside all right you will see two terminals now don't go panicking and say oh there's a blue wire in there all that is is that you just used as a link off i'm actually splitting the main this is the mains cable that uh, that comes in here and that's its runoff now this micro switch has three positions on it one is normally common uh, sorry which is common no and nc right nc stands for normally closed contacts 
and NO stands for normally open contacts. And within this one, what we use, are we using the NO side, which is the normally open. And what that means is when it's at rest, as it is now, there's nothing flowing through any of this at all. Until you close the switch. Now, what I'll do now is I will move my microphone and hopefully you can hear now what that is is that's where the contacts are coming together so I've got power coming into it and power going out all right so you got you normally closed normally open and um constant and what we're doing is breaking the negative now to show you the other side uh we're breaking the positive sorry not the negative what am i talking about you always break the positive and not the negative now if i do the other side of it i should have filmed this but i've been having since I've had the new update of uh, iOS on my iPad, I've only just recently got, if well, I could turn that down, got the GoPro to work on it. Now, it's a little bit dull in here, I do apologise. Okay, so, here we go. Now then, here is your mains input there are your three leads you've got the the live which goes to that blue which comes through to the common side of the switch but to keep everything legal on here i've just used the brown coming from there i've put on to the um if I took that down there so you can see I've used the actual brown itself from the switch to say that there's a live on there so that's your three inputs you've got your live which temporarily goes to blue it's just a matter of just bringing it through so it comes through and it goes on to there and then coming back from your normally open contact you've then got your live that comes out comes through that piece of cable comes up here and then obviously goes onto the live onto the socket and it's as simple as that um nothing complicated about them uh, it's, it's just something that uh, i've been wanting to do for a while but uh, one or two people have beat me to it and as I say, mine's all done in, in metal clad rather than um, plastic. Uh, the, again, it's got switches on. You no need to have switches on, but I mean, I had them um, because the, it, it came with them and it was only cheap from, from screw fix. Um, so it doesn't really make any difference. Um, but it makes a makes a difference in the fact that you can isolate things if you want to, you know. Uh, but uh, that's totally that's totally left with you. It's your choice um, as to whether or not it's right or wrong. So put that on there. Um, again the switch is a little bit dear I can't remember how much I pay for it it was off um, where was it from <laughs> it was either off eBay or Amazon where most of us get stuff from and I think it was about I think it was about a tenner that's all 